Hello, just a locomotion uh, system video update just to show something I've been working on for a little bit. Uh, it's just a really basic locomotion system. I'm using a controller right now actually. So as you can see, uh, there's no root motion actually. It's just uh, I've synced up. It's all keyframe animation, no motion capture. And I have uh, animated it to walk at the correct speed so that the capsule moves. And I've also modified the capsule movement just a little bit, like the rotation and things like that, just to make it look a little bit nicer. And so I have walking, um, jogging, and then also sprinting. And they all have kind of leaning animations so they look good when they're turning. Um, and so with the, the two uh, values getting updated on the left hand side, the first one is the current speed, and the second one is like the target speed. So if you can see, it'll go. Um, this is sprinting, and so the speed actually smoothly changes to match the speed that it's uh, it's moving in. So here's like slow motion, and then, yeah. And also you can like bump the speed up, and so the animation will actually change the rate, so you can get some really interesting fast runs and stuff. It's kind of neat. Looks like the Flash. Um, so yeah, and there's a little bit. So yeah, uh, you can also use a keyboard. It works just the same way. Um, the walking speeds, and uh, so there's two different modes. There's like directional movement, and then there's also like looking at the camera. And I have like rotation animations, just like placeholders for the feet. They don't look too good, but hey, whatever. Um, so yeah, I don't have any jumping right now. I want to work on that a little bit later, but that's it so far. And so, so the feet uh, match up mostly to the ground. Um, yeah, so I'll show off how I did that. Um, modified the uh, this caps the capsule movement just a little bit. So there's just the basic stuff, but. Um, so in here, the speed, and this looks a little bit confusing, but I'm using an F interp to change the speed, so it always smoothly changes the speed to whatever the target speed is, which is nice because if you're going fast and then you want to slow down, you don't jump to slowing or it's all smooth and stuff like that, so that's nice. So, and then for rotation, uh, I did some interesting things. The, uh, the capsule is rotating smoothly using an R interp. So I can I can kind of show it off. Hold on, let me turn the animations off real quick so you can see that a little bit easier. Okay, so right now if you can see the uh the rotation is actually smooth so it has like some acceleration and deceleration so it doesn't just like stop rotating immediately, which is really nice for the leaning animations. And also if you tap um, a direction, he'll rotate all the way around to that direction instead of just rotating when you tap. So you can like do uh, turnaround animations just by tapping. And then you also have the rotate toward the camera. Uh, so that's what the uh, that's what this set actor rotation is doing. And then I'm getting the uh, set target rotation. It's either like the uh, basically the camera's um, control rotation or the last movement input. So that's what uh, rotates it. And then also I have it can get the rotation rate to be used for the leaning animations and stuff like that. And uh, I'll show you my animation blueprint. Uh, so it's, just, it's really really basic actually. But what I've done is I've taken the uh, states and I've kind of simplified them to make like um, the least number of transitions as possible because I don't want any like state machine spaghetti or anything like that. Uh, so you see I have like grounded and in air and then inside of grounded I have stopped and moving so that way if even if he's like idle or if he's moving whenever he goes to in air he'll be pulled out of whatever he is to go to in air and stuff like that. Um, so in the grounded state machine and like right here you could do like foot IK right in here. Um, so it only do it while he's grounded. So you can do like some post processes there. And then inside of here I have if he's stopped he'll go 
to stop, and if he's not stopped, he's moving. So I just have a really basic, just a blend space with all the rotation animations, uh, and then the uh, the rotation animations right there. Yeah, but there's no root motion. It's all just based on the capsule movement. But I think it looks pretty nice, and it's really fluid and dynamic, and it can. You know, there's a lot of control. Like there's no lag on it or anything like that. So that's good. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically it. And then this is the event graph. It's basically just updating some stuff. I'm not using all of these. It's just uh, yeah. Um, but that's what that's doing. So I'll show you the final thing again. Let's see. I'm gonna turn the animations back on. And yeah, so you know, walking. And since I animated it, uh, I knew the speed I wanted the capsule to move in. So in Maya, when I did my animation, I uh, basically animated it to move. So right now he's going about like the walk speed is like 165 centimeters per second. So that's what I animated it at. So there's no foot sliding or anything. So if I go to sprinting, you know, the feet still aren't sliding around and the speed and stuff matches up. So. Yeah, so that's basically it. Just a little video, anyway. Yep.